All right, here is another video. This is again a multiple choice question and um, that m mimics what you will find on the exam, okay? So this is another uh, manufacturing input variance uh, question. All right, so let's get into it. Arrow Industries employs a standard cost system in which direct materials inventory is carried at, at standard cost. Arrow has established the following standards for the prime cost of one unit of product. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the actual numbers, but they're right there for you to see. Uh, during November, Arrow purchased 160,000 pounds of direct materials at a total cost of $304,000. The total factory wages for November were $42,000. 90% of which were for direct labor. Arrow manufactured 19,000 units of product during November using 142,500 pounds of direct materials and 5,000 hours, 5,000 direct labor hours. So the question is the direct labor usage, in parentheses, efficiency variance for November is. As you can see, this question has thrown a lot of numbers at you, okay? There are so many numbers, where do you start? Well, the labor efficiency variance is a quantity variance, okay? And we already know that. So, and it's calculated as follows. And um, so for anything, always remember the formula. That's key uh, to solving your problem. All right, so we're gonna open parentheses. And the formula is actual hours, all right, minus standard hours for actual output, okay? So that is actual hours minus standard hours for actual output. And we close the parentheses times the standard rate. All right, so let's see if we can plug any of the numbers in. So a total of 5,000 direct labor hours were actually used in production, and that's a given. We're told that 5,000 direct labor hours were used, okay? And we also know that 19,000 units of product were manufactured during the period. And again, the 19,000 units of product was a given, all right? Now, the standard direct labor hours allowed for production of one unit is a quarter of an hour. And again, that's a given, as you can see, right? So therefore, the standard direct labor hours allowed for the production of the period, period is, and the way to come up with this is, we take 19,000 units of product, that's how much it was produced in November, times the standard quantity, the standard direct labor hours per unit, and that was a given also, which is a quarter of an hour. So if we multiply both numbers, we get 4,750 hours, all right? So that's the standard. That's how many hours the company was supposed to use to produce 19,000 units, all right? And the standard rate is eight dollars an hour okay so and that's also a given at the top so therefore the direct labor efficiency variance okay so the direct labor efficiency variance and that's the question that we're asked to solve is we take the formula actual hours which is 5,000 direct labor hours and that's a given minus the standard hours for actual output. And we already calculated this, and it's 4,750, okay? And then we close the parentheses, times the standard rate, and the standard rate is a given also, and that's $8 an hour. So if you do the math, it all equals to, equals to uh, $2,000 unfavorable. Now, you may, you may be wondering, why is $2,000 unfavorable? 
That's because the actual hours used were greater than the standard hours allowed for the actual output. In this case, the variance is positive, therefore unfavorable. So as you can see, the standard um, hours, so the standard amount of hours that the company should have spent in producing 19,000 units is 4,750. But the actual hours were 5,000. So they, so they spent more hours producing 19,000 units. That's why it's unfavorable, because they spent more than they were supposed to. If instead of 5,000 would have been 3,000, then the, the uh, labor efficiency variance would have been a negative, and that is favorable, because they spent less hours than the standard to produce the 19,000 units. But in this case, it's unfavorable. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, until next time. See ya.